Hello there. Welcome to the bizarre world of urinary bladder stones. This video too, in this series of videos where I discuss how various disease conditions develop. Look at these uh, images here. These are two x-rays I took. The view of course, maybe what you might think you are looking at is a bag of potato chips inside the urinary brand. This one, what you might think is a, is a pile of poop or a pile of fecal matter inside the urinary brand. When I palpated these two dogs' abdomen, abdomen, this is what I felt. In this one, I felt hundreds and hundreds of pebbles of stones grinding against one another inside the urinary brand. In this one, I felt a very hard urinary brand wall, right? Very hard. It felt like there's just one big stone, each stone inside the urinary brand. And that's what I got here. One large hard stone occupying the urinary brand on this one. And hundreds and hundreds of pebbles grinding against one another in this one here. When I took these x rays, this is what I got. The most bizarre urinary stones that I have ever encountered in my life. But what is really intriguing about these stones is that one looks like a pile of fecal matter and the other looks like a bag of potato chips. The big question is, who is the artist behind these sculptures? Who, who sculpted these image, images there, or even these uh, stones there? It's common knowledge cells talk to each other using chemical signaling with cytokines and the chemokines. But do cells really think? Do cells really think? Did the squamous cells of the urinary brother design and sculpture these stones? I have no clue, and this will remain a mystery. So how do urinary brother, brother stones develop? Dogs are natural carnivores. Their natural diet is meat. Meat is 60 to 70 percent water. The moisture content of most dry grain based dog foods is just about 6 percent. A dog needs adequate water to flush out excess minerals like sodium, potassium, calcium, ammonia, phosphorus from the urinary brand. A dog eating too much dry food and not drinking adequate, adequate water who end up with an accumulation of minerals in the urinary brand. These minerals will eventually precipitate and form crystals or calcarine or stones. Two common urinary brother stones are magnesium ammonium phosphate or struphite and the calcium oxide crystals. Can the development of urinary stones be prevented? Yes. Feeding your dog a high protein diet and ensuring your dog takes adequate water will prevent the development of urinary stones. But what is the treatment of urinary calcula? Surgical removal of the stones is the standard treatment. That's the end of the video. If this video was helpful, subscribe, share it, comment or ask a question below. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.